YTO family wanna deal with. Big up on yourself in our 2023 year. Happy New Year to those of you who have made it to the New Year. Because you don't know, a whole heap of people almost make it, you know. Seeing a lot of people was right at the edge of making it to the New Year's. But they never get the chance to cross over. So I want to say R.I.P. to those. But congratulations on everybody that made it. Yeah. And we have to call it a congratulations as I said because enough man over Dove Cut. Them want exchange spot with me right now. Go over the go ask them if you don't believe me. But yeah people. I know a long time you don't hear from me. Big up on yourself. It's been a while. It's been a damn good while. So I say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in a one because I never get to say Merry Christmas either. Yeah. So in a today's program though, we have a portion of thing we're going to talk about. A whole lot of things go on over the Christmas season right up to this very day in the New Year's. First of all, I want to say RIP and condolences to Veteran DJ who lost his son, the great writer Angel Doulas, and if you not follow the Bounty Killer story, you know, say, Bounty Killer story can't done unless you include Angel Doulas, who was one of Bounty Killer's biggest writers. And without a shadow of a doubt, that man wrote many of Bounty Killer's earlier hit songs, one of which includes Book, Book, Book. I mean, I don't know if I know a tune on him. Nothing on here dead tonight. Yeah, I want to tell you to any people that are one of my favorite songs from Bounty Killer and Angel Doulas. So the other day, it came out in the gleaner that a JDF officer and Angel Doula's son, I forget his name, and I have it right in front of me right now. So it is alleged that the son, they are waterhouse and them did have some kind of gun salute thing a go on. You know the thing go at Jamaica. New Year's are coming. Man them the on the ends, them are bang bang up some some rifle in a year and you know, police circles. No like what go on according to the police cause you know we have to say that. Them don't like with them ear. So them fire a couple of shot. Claim say Dula son did a shoot off of them. And that's how the man lost his life. So condolences to Dula son. R.I.P. to him. I don't know why he did involve Ina. I don't know if he had just wrong place, wrong time or what. But regardless of what, a human life was lost. So R.I.P. to Dula son. So the next thing we are going now, peeps, is that the other day, Sunskeep and a little thing went down between Dancer Rebel and a Patreon at the venue. So, word on the street, God, this is what me hear, you know. Me not have no proof of this, but this is what I was told. The man that Dancer Rebel use our kitchen utensil and juke up juke up apparently passed by her and touch her inappropriately and she warn him and tell him say yo none of that bridging the man seem like him never take it serious this is a card into the streets and he went by again and did the very same thing and shortly after that now that was when the confrontation happened between him and the dancer rebel and she took out a kitchen utensil and proceeded to juke, juke him up with the kitchen utensil seeing so that is what me hear and also the video on us on the screen is when i don't know just about to perform and the thing kick off you don't know we can't really play some of these things pan youtube but for those of you who is interested in seeing all of the clippings that we can post up here don't forget to join the telegram group links will be left in the description of this video don't forget some wake up this morning now and jump in at the telegram group 
proceeding now to update the group as to what go on in a Jamaica and what go on worldwide. As me always do every morning, those of you in the Telegram group know say a summer rule. So, me find this one video where it shows a Jamaican man. A matter of fact, people, before me even going at that, me don't know if this video is an old video or a new video, but at the first time I see it. And me go play as much as it on YouTube as me can. The rest, you know, have to join the Telegram group to see it. Seeing as me said, the link there in the description. So, we find a video where me see a Rasta looking man. Not thinking man a real Rasta, one well, probably a fashion dread. In a video clippings, look like him there somewhere in our Spanish country or preferably Mexico to be specific because I think I did remember seeing the Mexico flag on the side of the arm. Um, the shirts of the gentlemen that work at the facility and looking in it looked to me like it's some kind of immigration office this brother here there you know like when you go through custom something of the sort now the rasta man when me see in the place cause as me say me never think he's a real rasta that the man i mash up the people in place and i cuss up one heap of bad word people he went as far as to take up a broken glass and I tell the man them say yo him not afraid for dead and them need for running passport what was the cause of it it did not state in the video so I can't tell you specifically what went down I don't know exactly where this incident occurred but as me say I go play the video I wanna take a look and I wanna make my own conclusion as to what I think happened So after watching said video, now we can clearly understand as to why Jamaicans get a bad rep many places where them going at the world. Because here we know, when we're good, we're good. And when we're bad, we're extremely bad. And in a this scenario here, yeah, is a clear representation of why Jamaicans get a bad rep. And as me stated, me not sure exactly where this incident is going it seemed to me like this going down somewhere down in mexico there but regardless of what going do, this brother here could have deal with the situation better than how him deal with the situation it seemed to me like him have some kind of you know mental problem also but could be wrong but me not put it far from him neither seeing and we have a very aggressive nature, but we need to work on and everything we have to resolve in a violent way. You see me I say, even though me na say me I cover up or me I defend the Spaniards them because I don't know exactly what they're doing. Me don't know what was the situation. So me na go to dive into as to why the man behaved that way. 
and if it was justified or not but may i say on a whole we need to strive to resolve issues in a much better way than this make me know nothing about that one here leave your thoughts in the comment section and here we are. don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel big up on yourself and also remember to join the telegram groups all of the links will be left in the description below follow me on all the other social media platforms until next time you know me see you man yardy from yardy tv we out